Greetings! Today we're going to use Padlet. This is a resource or a website um, that you've probably used in a lot of professional developments. It's a really great website. Maybe you haven't had time to play with it, but it's really easy to use. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate to Padlet.com. Um, we'll use our universal login again, which is nice. So you'll sign up with your OCPS Google credentials. And um, I already have an account, so it's going to prompt me to just log in with my OCPS email and um, then we get to just click on this pink link that says make a Padlet. And we have various different uh, layouts that we can choose from. The one that I like the most is the one called shelf and I'll show you why. So let's talk about when you would use this. You would use Padlet um, maybe as a back channel chat which means it's a way for students to use it as kind of a parking lot so you could ask them uh, to post all of their questions onto Padlet and then you can come back to them at the end of the class period or at a designated time and answer those questions uh, if you don't want an activity interrupted um, or if you'd want the students to focus on an activity without asking a bunch of questions um, you could also use this as bell work, you could use it as an exit ticket, um, you could use it to monitor student discussions or uh, the product of student discussions. So here's why I like this particular layout shelf. So the first thing we have to do, we have this new Padlet, and it'll automatically select a background and a title for you, which you probably don't want. So I'm going to go to title and I'm going to call it branches of government. And then the description going to say this is a review um, because that's how I would use this particular Padlet and then I'm going to change my background you can upload your own picture by clicking add a wallpaper um, or you could just use one of theirs so I'm just going to use I'll use the blackboard background which is a little cliche as a teacher but that's what I'm going to go with um, all right so now I'm ready to start uh, creating this Padlet. There's some other visual options like you can change the font if you want to. Um, you could change um, the little the little symbol over here if you want to. Um, oh, there's a couple of other options that you, I want to highlight. You want to have the profanity filter on. Um, so this replaces bad words with emojis. Let's turn that on for our students. Um, and you can also enable this um, attribution so when students log into Google their name will automatically appear above each post. Um, and you can also enable reactions. You have different options here. You could have upvotes, downvotes. I prefer to just allow the students to like posts instead of downvoting posts. Um, you could also have a rating system, um, a one to five star rating system. Um, so I'm just going to leave it here on liking posts so then students can actually heart or like each other's posts. Um, and then this other option, you can allow the students to comment on each other's posts. So that's up to you if you want them to be able to comment on each other's posts and give each other feedback, or if you don't. Okay, so now let's actually start. Um, oh, let me save this. So let's actually start creating this Padlet. Um, I'll go back to those settings in a second. Okay, so I like this particular layout because you can organize information by topic. So um, each column will, so each student post rather, will be organized under each column. And I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna create three columns. These are the branches of government. So it's going to be legislative. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna add a column. This is going to be, um, of course, the judicial branch. And then the executive branch. So you see how there's three columns here. And this is what the students are going to see. And then there are little plus signs under each column. And that's where the students are going to post. So maybe I want each student to post one power of the legislative branch, one power of the judicial branch. So what students will do is they'll click the, pu the plus sign. And since I have attribution enabled, their name is going to show up on their post. Um, so you want to make sure that students log in using their Google Universal login um, before they post to Padlet so that you know who is posting what. Um, and then they can title their post, Power of the Courts, uh, Judicial Review. 
Um, and they can also add information or add other things to their post. Uh, my favorite thing to add is an image. Um, so you can upload an image from your computer. Um, if you click Google search, um, all of these uh, suggested images come up. Um, you click courts, oh, you get a tennis court. Um, you can embed this picture from Wikipedia if you want to. Um, you can also embed videos. So you can make these Padlet posts very interactive. Um, and again, that's just by you click the post and then you have this menu of things that you can add. So you can add a link, you can upload something from your computer, you can add um, a snap, um, a picture from your camp from your computer's camera. Um, you could add voice so students can record audio from their microphone and add it to Padlet. It depends on how elaborate you want this to be. Um, all right, so uh, so here's our Padlet. It's set up. We want to make sure that it's shareable and that students can post to it. So what I'm going to do is click on share. Let me do that once more. I'm going to click on share, and then you have privacy set uh, settings. So there's a couple of things you want to pay attention to. Um, you can make your Padlet public. That means anyone can post to it. Um, you can make it secret, which means only people with the link can post to it. Um, you can password protect it or you can make it private. If you make it private, then your students can't post to it. Um, so that's probably not the setting that you want. Um, so I make it secret so only students th who have the link can post to it. Um, that way random people aren't posting to our Padlet. And then here's a really important setting. All right, so we're under share, people and privacy. You know, let me walk you through this once more because I've been through professional development where the person giving the, the training forgets to do this. So it's an important step. So we're going to click on share, people and privacy. Those with access can write. So if you want your students to post, you have to have this selected. Because if you have it on read, your students will be able to read posts, but they won't be able to write. And if you select moderate, then your students will be able to delete each other's posts, which maybe you want them to do. You probably don't. Um, and then how are you going to share this with your students? You'll click on share, export, embed. You could use a QR code. Um, what I do is I just copy the link and then I post it to Canvas or I might create a tiny URL and then post it um, or write it rather on my whiteboard. Um, and then what can you do with the Padlet once it's done? Well, after all your students have posted to your Padlet, you can save it as a PDF. And then you could print it out, you could post it on your wall, or you could um, you could just save it as a PDF and then post it to Canvas or someplace where the students can review it. You can also print it um, directly from Padlet. All right, and that's it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.